Imagine gazing deep into space and witnessing two galaxies staring back at you in the midst of a mesmerizing, almost haunting dance. That's exactly what we're seeing with the recent observations of two spiral galaxies, IC2163 and NGC2207, captured by the combined power of the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope. These images reveal a scene so striking, it's been described as having a bloodshot eye effect, with swirling arms and vibrant colors that speak to intense interactions. But why is this cosmic encounter so important? In this video, we'll break down the science behind these images, what they reveal about galactic interactions, and what this means for our understanding of the universe. Let's begin exploring what's known as the galactic grays. IC2163 and NGC2207 are in the early stages of a close encounter, a slow motion event unfolding over millions of years. While they haven't merged, the galaxies are close enough to exert powerful gravitational forces on each other, tugging at each other's stars, gas, and dust, and creating dramatic tidal effects. The smaller galaxy, IC2163, has developed an ocular structure, a distinct eye-like shape formed by the gravitational pull of its larger neighbor, NGC2207. This pull stretches IIC's disk into an elongated oval shape, while its spiral arms are distorted like taffy. The eyelid structures that appear around the edges are shock fronts caused by the rapid movement of material under these intense forces. Meanwhile, NGC isn't left untouched. The force of IC's pass-by has begun to elongate its own arms into what we call tidal tails, streaming rivers of stars and gas that appear to drift off into space. This tug-of-war scenario creates a cosmic ripple effect that can take on haunting shapes, colors, and distortions, transforming both galaxies. Observing these galaxies as they graze each other, provides insights into the early stages of galactic mergers, helping scientists predict the future for similar encounters. Our own Milky Way is expected to merge with the Andromeda galaxy billions of years from now, and these observations give us a glimpse of what that process might look like. Understanding these initial phases is essential because they set the stage for a galaxy's future, potentially changing its shape, structure, and star-forming abilities. When galaxies come close, the gravitational forces compress massive clouds of gas and dust, essentially kickstarting the birth of new stars. In the case of these two galaxies, this interaction has led to an incredibly high star formation rate, far surpassing what we see in more isolated galaxies. They produce about two dozen stars the size of our sun each year. Compare this to the Milky Way, which forms just two to three stars of similar size annually. This surge in star formation is visually represented in the images. The bright blue regions captured by Hubble in ultraviolet light reveal clusters of young, hot stars. These are the galactic nurseries, where newborn stars are shining brightly, illuminating the surrounding clouds. Webb's mid-infrared imaging reveals yet another layer to this story. It captures the dusty regions where stars are forming but are still shrouded visible in shades of pink and white. This shows us where future stars are hiding, waiting to emerge from the cosmic dust. The dusty environments seen by Webb are ideal for forming stars and star clusters, thanks to the cooler temperatures that allow gas to condense more easily. And let's not forget the dramatic role of supernovae in these galaxies. In the past few decades, these two galaxies have hosted seven known supernovae, a staggeringly high number compared to the Milky Way, which experiences a supernova roughly once every 50 years. Each supernova is essentially a stellar explosion, a spectacular death that scatters elements like oxygen, carbon, and iron throughout the galaxy. These elements enrich the interstellar medium, creating a fertile environment for the formation of new stars and planets. In a way, supernovae act like cosmic gardeners, by clearing out space within the galaxy's arms, they allow room for new stars to form. 
It's a cycle of life and death on a grand scale, driven by galactic interactions that both create and destroy, weaving new stars into the fabric of the universe. This process is crucial to understanding not just the life cycle of galaxies, but also the origins of elements that make up planets and even life itself. Let's compare these observations with previous studies of similar galaxy pairs, such as the Antennae galaxies and the Whirlpool galaxy, with its companion NGC 5195. These galaxies have long fascinated astronomers because they illustrate the transformative effects of galactic encounters and provide a glimpse into the possible future of our newly captured galaxies. The Antennae galaxies are named for their distinctive long tidal tails, which resemble an insect's antennae formed as the galaxies collide and exchange matter. This pair is in a much more advanced stage of interaction than our newly captured galaxies, with their centers merging and their stars and gas intertwining. They exhibit some of the most intense starburst activity observed in the universe. The gravitational forces compress clouds of gas and dust to an extreme, creating massive regions where stars are born at a rate far surpassing typical galaxies. The intense pressure and density within these areas give rise to superstar clusters, dense, young star formations that glow brightly, emitting ultraviolet radiation that illuminates the surrounding material. Similarly, the Whirlpool Galaxy, M51, and its smaller companion, NGC 5195, offer another fascinating parallel. Located in the constellation Canes Venetici, the Whirlpool Galaxy is a grand design spiral galaxy with well-defined prominent arms. Its interaction with NGC 5195 has caused visible distortions in its spiral structure, with one arm appearing to stretch outward toward the smaller galaxy, forming a bridge-like feature between them. The gravitational pull of NGC 5195 has led to an elevated rate of star formation in M51, particularly along the bridge and in areas where gas clouds have collided and compressed. This tidal bridge of material between the two galaxies is filled with bright star-forming regions, where new stars are constantly being born. In addition, the Whirlpool Galaxy's interaction with its companion has produced an extended envelope of gas and dust around M51. This envelope, influenced by the gravitational effects of the companion galaxy, creates a spectacular visual contrast with dark dust lanes interweaving with bright, star-forming regions. The Whirlpool Galaxy's spiral arms have also developed intricate patterns, showcasing how gravitational encounters can rearrange a galaxy's internal structure. This scenario presents a more mature and detailed view of galactic interaction than that seen with IC 2163 and NGC 2207, but one that shows what the future may hold as their gravitational effects intensify. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the cosmos. Every discovery like this brings us closer to understanding our place in the vast tapestry of space. Until next time, keep looking up and stay curious.